Hi everybody. Well, Happy New Year. It's 2019. And you know what? Why don't we start the year with a little math challenge here. We're going to use the digits 2, 0, 1, and 9. And what we're going to try to do with the challenge is to try to create uh, as many of the natural numbers as we can in sequence. So I'm going to start with the first 10 here. Um, I'm going to show you how that works here. And then I'm going to kind of leave this as an open challenge for people to fill in how they do it. Uh, maybe you could leave them in the comments there if you'd like. So the object of the game here is, again, using just the digits 2, 0, 1, 9, and any mathematical operations you'd like to try to create the, uh, these natural numbers. So for example, 1, you could go, well, that would be 2 times uh, 0 times 9 plus 1. Okay, because the product here would be 0 plus 1 is, is 1. 2, well, that might be just 2 plus uh, 0 times 1 times 9, or I suppose I can use the little x's there for that. Okay, now, there are, there are some rules here. Now, if you wanted to create 10, you could use uh, 1 and, and 0, um, but you might run into problems with that in a bit here. Uh, there's a couple of operations I want to show you here. If you wanted to do the square root of something, you can't just put this symbol down, because remember, the root index could vary and so you need to specify that this is a square root, and, and let's just make the rule here that I'm going to take that digit 2, I'm going to put it right there, but 3 is just going to be the square root of 9 plus 0 times 1. And you've got to use all four digits here, okay? 4 might be the, whoops, square root, whoops, wow, I want to do cube root there, square root of 9 plus 1 uh, plus 0. So 3 plus 1, there's your 4. Now, to get 5, I'm going to do the square root of 9 plus 1 plus 0 factorial. Okay, now remember, by definition, 0 factorial is going to be 1. Now, for those that, that maybe aren't aware of what I mean by that factorial, okay, uh, just for an example here, 3 factorial is going to equal 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, and in fact, that gives me a method for coming up with 6 because I can do the square root of 9 factorial, which would be 6, plus 1 times 0. Okay, for 7, I might do 9 minus 2 plus 1 times 0. Uh, for 8, I might go 9 minus 1 plus 2 times 0. For 9, I'll just put 9, plus 0 times 1 times 2. And to get 10, I might say 9 plus 1 plus 2 times 0. Now, I could have put just the 1 and the 0 together to get 10, but if I did that, I'd be stuck with a 2 and a 9. I wouldn't quite know what to do with that. Okay, so here's just the first 10 natural numbers. I'd love to see what people can do with the rest of them. Remember that if you're going to do roots, you need to put the root index in there, so you need to include another digit there. If you're going to use logs as well, you're going to have to use uh, the digits to create a base for that logarithm. Anyway, I'd be very curious to see what people can do with this. It's just a fun little activity. Uh, I do this every year, kind of play with this a little bit. I'd be very excited to see what happens in 2020. But anyway, there you go. There's the challenge. See how far you can go.